Praise the Lord, Fusion Youth. Pray that you're having a blessed morning today and this Monday morning. I just feel led in the Holy Ghost to, lead, to give you a word of encouragement today, to hold you off until Wednesday. I know we're not gathering together as assembly as of now because of the virus that is going around, but it doesn't mean that we cannot hear from the word of the Lord. I just want to share a quick word with you today just to encourage you and to uplift your spirit and to increase your faith. In this dark times that we are living in, we're living in a world where it's so dark. But God is looking for you to shine the brightest. I want to lead you to Luke chapter 22, starting in verse 31. The Bible says, And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as we. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fell not. And when thou art converted, straighten thy brethren. We understand that the world is bound by fear, but the church is elevated by faith. The church walks by faith. We understand that the Bible says, now faith is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews chapter 11, verse one. Can I tell you, us as children of God that are living in this time should not be bound by fear, but by faith. We walk by faith to please God. And we know that God is calling us to another level of dedication and devotion. We're living in a time where God is challenging every single one of you to a place of prayer. I feel like this time is a time to build an altar of prayer, fasting, and an altar to read the word of the Lord again. We understand that in a world that is in a place of fear, that we stand in a place of faith. I just want to give you a quick word of encouragement that your faith will not fail you just like Jesus told Peter. Peter, Simon, Simon, the devil have desire to have you, but I pray that your faith will not fail you. Your pastor is praying for you. Your youth committee is praying for you. And, and we are praying for you. I just want to let you know because you have people praying for you, your faith will not fail. But most importantly, it's time to get in a private place of prayer. And to understand that Jesus is for you. So if he's for you, who can be against you? I cannot wait to gather back again with you all and have a powerful time in the Holy Ghost when God allows us to come back together. Come expecting a powerful move of the Holy Ghost. Revival and demonstration of the power and glory of God. We love you and I pray this encourage you that we walk by faith and not by sight. God bless you all. In Jesus name.